I had a I had a crazy ride here. I've been been through a lot of stuff, been through a lot of adversity, and you know, I'm just thankful that I had the opportunity to do everything. And uh, you know, I wouldn't trade for anything in the world. You know, I love what I did here, and I love the people here, and you know, I'm just thankful for everything. How do you envision your uh, last Kellogg meal going? <laughs> oh man, my last Kellogg meal. Yeah. It'll be a hefty one. You know? It'll be a nice big plate. <laughs> <laughs> you gonna go to gonna go to bed. Uh, nice, nice and full. Yep. Yeah. <clears throat> Gerald is a goofy guy, man. Gerald is, that dude is a character. He's funny. Uh, you know, he always got something to say, always smiling. Uh, got a class with him, so share a lot of good moments with him. Had a lot of good moments with him throughout the year. Uh, you know, but he goes hard when he's out there. We appreciate Gerald. What would some of the couple of the highlights be for you? Uh, even though I didn't really play, like, I didn't play at all, you know, some of my highlights here would be like the Big Ten just because being there and around that team and everything, it was such an incredible vibe and like it was something I'll remember for the rest of my life. And, I'll remember this year for the rest of my life. You know, it's my last year, and it was, it's been a fun ride, you know? Has it been gratifying to be a part of uh, an excellent defense? Uh, yeah, you know, I mean, it's just it's been good being a part of this team in, in general, you know. Uh, being a part of this Michigan State football team is something I'll cherish and, and hold dearly to me for the rest of my life. Looking back, was it difficult for you to ex accept moving to defensive line? When you were a younger player, I think I, I heard that uh, like Shalik had to talk to you a little bit. Is that true? Was it difficult making that transition? Uh, it was difficult to the aspect of not necessarily knowing everything, you know. Uh, when I got switched over, it was, it was difficult at first, you know. I'm, I'm used to running the ball. Right. In high school, I ran the ball and everything, but I did play defense in high school. So when he switched me, I was like, it's all right, you know. I'm going to find a way here and... Whatever I play here, I'm gonna try to try my best to be successful. A guy that's had to be in there and slug it out and never become a starter, yeah. but he keeps slugging in there. Is that something that can inspire you guys a little bit? Yeah, definitely. He's been here. He's got experience. He's older. Uh, I call him old man. Um, look like he's like 45. But yeah, or lack of hair. No, I'm joking. But no, he's a, he's a, he's a great guy. He's, like you say, he's playing his role. Uh, you know, he's stepping up and he, he's making he's making some plays and clogging some gaps for us. So that's what we need from him. When you were in high school, those running back highlights were outstanding. They were. I mean, they were. And people <laughs> can go look them up. Yeah. Did you feel like you could have still been a running back? Or do you feel like you kind of got, <laughs> got too grew out of it like Lawrence did at linebacker? Uh, is that even possible? This is just because the running back spirit's inside of me talking. Yeah. You know, I always feel like I can run the ball. Yeah. <laughs> I'm just kidding now. But, uh, no, nah, I mean, my role here was to play defensive tackle and – I took it and rolled with it. And he's a former running back like you. Yeah, he, ta he tell us he had the running back almost every day, so uh, we know that. <laughs> You've seen his film, right? I've seen school. his film, it's not, yeah. it's not bad. I told him he was more like a fullback. He had moves, though, for a big guy. Yeah, he was, what, 260? Yeah, he was I, he was I told him. Fullback too. I told him I'm flipping him every time. <laughs> We're flipping, but no, nah, he's an he's, uh, athletic guy. So. Have you thought about senior night before or pictured this game before? Uh, you know, last year I thought about it when it was uh, last year's senior night, but... When I saw the schedule for this year, I was like, man, this senior night's going to be something special because it's against my home state, you know. So it's kind of crazy to think about and everything. But like I said, I'm going to just try not to think of it as my last home game at Spartan Stadium because, you know, I don't want the emotions to get the best of me out there and just go out there like I'm ready to go like any other week.